Good evening and welcome to this Cymru Premier Clash between Connors Key and Penabont. And as you can see on the sign above the tunnel, Flint is now the new home of Connors Key at the SET Stadium. Kyle Castech, they're enjoying life at their new home as well. Still to lose since moving here. They're having a great season. Two of the top teams in this league going head to head this afternoon and for the commentators it's great Connors Key all in red Pennebont all in white should be straightforward the floodlights are on as you can see rain lashing down weather's not great here's the Connors Key team they've won six in a row two changes today though Daniel Roberts coming in for Kai Edwards and uh, one Callum replaces another. Callum Morris starts for the first time this season instead of Callum Brackley. As I said, they've won six in a row under Neil Gibson. Shaky start, but since then they're up and running. And Jordan Davis has been the star of the show. Seven goals so far this season, joint top scorer in the league. And here are the visitors, Penavant. Also having a decent season, just one change. Last season's Young Player of the Year for the whole league. Brian Reynolds drops out. Gabriel Kirkhoff who joined in the summer from Ponta Dawet. Starts in his place and uh, the uh, shape looks pretty familiar as well. As you can see, Kirkhoff should be central up top. But then Chris Venables. How could we mention, not mention Chris Venables? Still going strong. Here's Jordan Davis. Great season since returning from Haverford West. He hit 14 for them last season as well. He's already halved that amount already on Sem this season. And as for Penabont, well, we've got to mention Chris Venables broke the record for Cymru Prem appearances in the week against Barrytown and scored the only goal as Penabont beat Barry Town as well. He's at five already this season. 38 years old. Has faced Connors Key more than anybody else over the years. And he first scored against them in 2004 for Kyle Seuss. Don't want too many stats, but that's a belter. Nearly 20 years ago, Chris Venable started scoring in this league and against this club. Connors Key will be hoping he doesn't add to that tally tonight. It's going to be a fascinating one. Second and third last year. They were second and third at the start of the afternoon. Connors Key still second. But Newton have gone above Pennebont after their win at home to Bala this afternoon. It's been a terrible week for Bala Town. They were going well. Come off the rails a bit. And Newton on a great run. Another victory for them. That's their sixth victory in a row. Just like Connor's key. Visitors, Pennebont, lively. Davis, Miles Davis. In the middle of the action, as you'd expect. Miles Davis waits for teammates to make their way up. He can certainly cause problems with his throw ins. Miles Davis and Williams back deep. McConnell's key, Jack Kenny putting some pressure on Owen. Jeffries' his pass went astray, and Kenny's gone past him as well. Arriving in the middle is Franklin. Kenny straight across, Franklin's there as well. 
Kane Owen clears. There's a touch from Franklin. Free kick for the visitors. But Connors Key straight away looking for the opportunity to counter attack. Jack Kenny. Another one having a good season. Another of Neil Gibson's favourites. Been with Neil Gibson. Not pressed that in on Flint. Jack Kenny. And there is Neil Gibson. Hold on. You can't blame him, can you? Hug a hoodie. As someone once said, we'll see if anybody's hugging Neil Gibson this afternoon. Connors Key. Leading to defend. You associate them with tough to break down over the years. They'll be scoring some goals this season. Connors Key. Only the new Saints have scored more than the 26. So a change of venue, a new home. Might be seeing a new Connors Key as well, who knows? A lovely start from Penn and Bond, they'll be happy. Plenty of possession, but Connors Key just throwing things down. Rushton in goal, Disney. Plenty of options as Jordan Davis drops deep. You see the scores on the bottom of the screen, scores of the doors. Colin Bay, two all against Met. There's a horrendous own goal there. The second one for Met. Averest with beat Bala in the week. Ten men today. Lost heavily at Hanford West. They'll be pleased with that. Great result for Carnarvon away. At Bari, as I said, Newtown. Six in a row now. As they beat Bala. 1-0. And the Saints hitting four against Pontypridd. No surprise. Even though Pontypridd have been uh, very stingy in conceding the goals this season. I was mentioning Newtown's run. Well, Bala have just lost three in a row. Four if you want the League Cup to that. But back here, two of the teams will be certainly challenging for European places. They'll still be eyeing up the new Saints. Just keep not too far behind another. Decent build up from the home team, Aaron Williams. Rips it across, we've got a corner. Again, we see Connors Key down the right. We've seen one manager. Here's the other one, Rhys Griffiths, manager of the year last season as well. No hoods, just hiding. He's found the shelter. Different tactics from both managers <laughs> regarding the positioning on the sides. Corner, chance for Connors Key. John Disney will take it. Referees ready. Decent climb as well. Good header away. Some big men in the middle. Yorworth and Jeffries for Penabon. Dangerous cross, another good header. Penabont defence under some pressure here. Clever cross, the cross goal. Kenny was waiting. Offside in the end. A variation from Connors Key. As Pennock takes the ball. So already we've seen clever build up from Connors Key. Strong defence from Penabont as well. The two in the middle Josh Yorworth, Dan Jeffries. Giants in the middle there. And it's Penabons. Chance to attack. Keon Raphael, tricky. Somehow got through two. We've had a Connors Key corner. It's Penabons' turn. Tenth game of the season as well for these two teams. Well, for all the teams in the Cymru Prem. Remarkable, really. Well, we've hit double figures already in these games. Never look at the league table until ten games have gone. I'll never take too much notice. That's what they say. It's different to the Cymru Prem, of course. Kane Owen whips it in. It's dangerous. Connors Key ready for it. Get another chance. And he can deliver from anywhere on the field with the left foot. Rafael got his head to it. There was a foul. According to the referee. 
Maybe a slight push, not much in it. Hanuski lost two of the first three, both away from home. The first at the New Saints, first game of the season, they took the lead and were ahead twice at that game in the first half. And it's 6 2 in the end. And then they lost away to Bala, very unfortunate uh, goal to concede, only lost 1 0. But other than that, it's been superb for Connors Key this season. That's right. They're right in there, second in the league. Forced back, Chris Venables. Keeping them busy. Kenny dropping deep. Again, lively build up from Connors Key Franklin. They've gone straight through the middle. Lovely build up. Offside. There's an offside there. Well, look at the reaction. From the Connors key players, it's Jordan Davis, who else? He was looking for his eighth. He can't believe it. And sometimes the reaction of the players gives it away. Here we go, Franklin. There's the pass. So close. I'm sure if the lines were being drawn by VAR, they'd be looking at it a few times. But another example of slick passing from Connors Key. Lovely build up, Franklin and Davis. And Franklin's looking very lively. He's contributing this season. They've looked again. This time for Noah Edwards. I think that one was slightly more clear regarding the offside decision. Here we go again. Franklin, Davis. Lovely finish. It's no consolation. As I said earlier, seven this season already. Joint top scorer with Aaron Williams from Newtown, who scored the only goal this afternoon as Newtown beat Ballatown. Davis and Connors Key on fire. Jeffries for Owen. Very lively start to this game. Still in the first ten minutes, Franklin's there again. They're under pressure, Josh Yonworth. Kept the ball up. Penabont on in white. They're only beaten Connors Key once. Since promotion to the top flight. Bit of a battle going on there. Ashley Evans against Harry Franklin. Referee's going to have a word with Ashley Evans. Looked like a decent tackle at first glance, but there was a lot going on, I think, as he attempted to stop Franklin. He was having a very lively start. Just a chat. Here it is again. So Franklin, well, there you go. So the last tackle was fine, but the shirt was being pulled. Referee did well, saw that one. Well, Harry Franklin certainly caught the eye in this first ten minutes. As have Connors Key, full of confidence. Franklin again. They're looking for it. Oh, it's landed and it's a goal. No offside now. Now we can celebrate. Jordan Davis. Right place, right time. And you know what's coming next. Connors Key ahead. He's had the ball in the back of the net at once already. That was disallowed for offside. We're following the free click. It landed for Davis. He's put his team ahead. Franklin's kick causing problems. And it's now Penabont's time to complain. They're claiming Davis handled it. They're all claiming that there was a hand in the middle of that. So Connors Key weren't happy with the one that was disallowed and Penapont not happy with the one that's gone in. Either way, it's 1-0. Davis has his eighth of the season. 
remarkable season for Jordan Davis. Joined, rejoined, I should say, Connor Key for his uh, third period here. Started at the academy, he's been away, he's come back, he's gone again. A few clubs, North Wales, went to Hanford West last season. As I said earlier, 14 goals last season. Eight already this season. One already this afternoon, here they go again. Playing well, Williams. Fancies it, Aaron Williams, they all left it. I think Pennock flicked that one. Wasn't too comfortable. Oh, they look a team, don't they? Connors Key at the minute. They look a different team to the Connors Key we've come to know. And maybe not love over the years, but respect, you can say that. We love them, really. Oh, different, uh, different looking Connors Key this season since the move to Flint. Here they go again. Disney's over the ball. Aaron Williams as well. Or oh, something from the training ground. Morris. Williams, Kane Owen, backpedalling. And they're taking their time to get this one in. Unconvincing, really. They still get a chance to strike from distance. Harrington, but Miles Davis looks for Rafael. Rafael, how quick is Key on Rafael? Red shirts, racing back. He got the feeling they were going to force him back as well. Didn't look confident enough. Kane Owen, left foot. What can he create? Kind of bond suddenly gone. One end of the pitch to the other. Harling, full of running, as always, in the corner. Owen. Back it goes, they start again. Here's Little, Mark Little, Miles Davis. And for once. It's a mistake by Davis. Jack Kenny's gone down. And the ref is giving the free kick in the end. I had to think about it. Josh Yorworth with a clash. You can see it again. It certainly looked like a free kick. You can see the Penabon's coaching team deep in discussion with the officials, shall we say? Happened right in front of their dugout, so maybe not too happy with the decision. I don't think there's a maybe about it, to be honest. Callum Morris starting his first game of the season for Connors Key. Instead of another Callum, Callum Bradley. How often do you say that? Callum Morris. Number eight in his eighth season for the Nomads. And he'll start the next phase of possession. Quarter of an hour gone. Venables against Morris. They've come up against each other a few times. Disney. Back to Rushton. Both teams have changed their goalkeepers early on this season. We've got Rushton in goal now. McConnell's key. Andy Firth started. Started every game last season. And started the first two games this season. And now Pennock, who's got the ball. For Penabont. Well, Alex Harris came in in the summer, played in Europe, played the first five games. Penabont have changed it around since then. Mikel Arteta spoken recently about changing the goalkeeper in the middle of the game. Every other player gets subbed, why not the goalkeepers? Won't be long before we see that, I'm sure. Penabont now. Need to settle a bit. They're not a bad start. They're behind. Little incidents like that don't help, especially when you're up against Connors Key. Full of confidence. Six wins in a row. It's worth repeating that one. Great run. Williams. Back they go. Roberts, Disney. Keeping possession. Beautifully, and off they go again. It's great to see. Very different to the Connors Key sides that were so successful under Andy Morrison. Looks 
looking good so far. John Disley's just sitting deep, keeping things going. Dan Roberts. Here they go again. Roberts. Always options. Franklin this time. Morris. To the head. Jordan Davis. With the opening goal. They're forced into the tackle. Penabont. Slightly fortunate, maybe, to get the decision. Little. Going in. Kind of want. Haven't had much luck against the Nomads recently. Mal Davis. Lovely flick from Venables. Venables still there. Little. Fancy the run. Oh, Franklin's in the middle of it. Again, Jordan Davis and Franklin trying to combine. Could have been costly there for Penabont. They kept possession. Well, under pressure, under serious pressure as well. Jeffries goes back. Ashley Evans is there, pinnacle clear. But they're under pressure here. Penabont. It's going to be a tough evening. Well, they knew that anyway before they arrived. There's Penabont clear. He's just ready for it. Venables tussling. Hasn't had a lot of chances. Hasn't had any chances. Hasn't had a lot of luck, I was going to say, this afternoon yet. Chris Venables going in the summer from Bala. While Davis goes down under pressure from Franklin, gets the free kick. Chance for Penabont to try and create something. Try and hit back. Up against the top team this afternoon, or two top teams in the Cymru Premier. Owen clips it in, Venables didn't land kindly for the visitors. It's Morris twists, clears. Davis, not for the first time, first touch. Letting him down there. Conditions aren't great now, then plenty of room for Miles Davis. Straight at Morris. Hello, Morris. Didn't flinch. Well, Rafael's done well. Kept the pressure on for Penavant. But straight through to Rushton in the end. 20 minutes gone. Still 1 0. John Rushton in for Andy Firth. Had a howler at Ballatown. Got to say that. They lost 1 0, and it was an absolute howler from the goalkeeper. A freak goal to go in. But other than that, done very well. Hasn't conceded more than one goal in a game since coming in. Franklin's gone down there. The referee saw it, took his time. Well, Little can't believe that decision. I think the ref just gave himself a few seconds. Before deciding, but there's the yellow card. We'll see it again. Arm was high, straight into the throat of Harry Franklin. And it's a free kick in another dangerous position for Connors Key. Scored from the last. Free kick in a similar position. I fancy the chances again, you'd have thought. The 
It's been a wet old day in North Wales. Wet few days, to be honest. These pitches, such a boost in these conditions. They seem to be suiting Connors Key this season since they moved to Flint. They'll try and create again. Connors Key, dangerous cross, very good header away. Franklin again was the first one there. Well, our pass was looking to Rafael. He had a lot to do. He's done a lot, to be fair. Keon Rafael. Excellent from Rafael Kirchhoff, dropping deep, spreading the plate. Red shirts are back. Well, they're in control of this game at the minute. Connors Key. Cannabon took so many dangerous players. They could turn it round quickly. Little under pressure, Jack Kenny. Chance for 2 0. Jack Kenny! As simple as that. He strides through the Penabon defence and halfway through the first half. Connor's key in control. Jack Kenny strikes for the Nomads. Great start for the home side. And Penabon just want to start again, you'd have thought. 2 0. Here it is again. Just a long ball from the back. Here we go. Littles just at the yellow card. Kicks the ball against himself. And Kenny, to be fair, kept his head. There's the incident by Little. I think it hit his hands as he tried to clear it over his head. And Jack Kenny strikes. That's his fourth of the season. More goals for Connors Key. And they're spreading them around as well. Jordan Davis, top scorer. The league's top scorer with eight, but 11 different scorers for Connors Key already this season. They kept the ball, they've kept their heads, kept Penabont at arm's length since those opening minutes. Penabont started so brightly as well. Since then, Connors Key. I've taken over. Amazing turnaround since they've moved to Flint. Kai Kastek. Certainly enjoying themselves here. There were rumours for years that they were maybe ground share with Flint or just move. Should have done it years ago. Penabont. Certainly won't give up here. And Little. No. Little needs to be careful in these few minutes. He's to half jump in there. He's had a yellow card. His mistake led to the second goal as well. Must be a frustrating afternoon as Franklin wins possession. Skips away from Davis as well. Twenty-five gone, two 0 Connors Key. They've won six in a row, looking to make it seven. Chris <laughs> Griffiths would have been expecting a tough game this afternoon. They've only beaten them once since they clinched promotion to the Cymru Premier in 2019. Penabont. Davis again, no Edwards. Roberts. Nash. Offside in the end. And I'm so comfortable in possession. Connors Key. Jordan Davis wasn't happy with his first attempt at a goal, disallowed for offside. Didn't waste much time before putting Connors Key ahead. Jack Kenny's made it two. Venables up. Miles Davis. Glorious pass. Kane Owen. He's looking for Venables. Far post. Rafael 
goes up. Lewis Harling was waiting for it. They just, just need one thing to go their way here, Pennebont, as Harling tries to get on the end of Owen's pass. Did so well. Owen was an option. Ashley Evans and Callum Morris. Well, no one's pulling out of that one as Franklin nearly skipped away again. Little did well. Noah Edwards. Little needs to be careful on a yellow card. Noah Edwards straight through. Kenny again looking for a third. Would have been sensational from Connors Key. Close to a third. As Noah Edwards led the charge. Great run from Edwards. Kenny clipped it. It was nearly three. Classic Noah Edwards run there, straight through the middle. Joined from Carnarvon in the summer. Another one that's been with Neil Gibson at former clubs. He was with him at Prestatin. <laughs> Neil Gibson has attracted a few of his uh, trusted players. Former Prestatin players, players that were with him at Flint when he was there as well. More football coming up, by the way, tomorrow. Cardiff Swansea. Highlights to come as well. Plenty going on this weekend. We're in Ponty next Saturday. They don't like to concede, Pontypridd. They conceded four against the New Saints. And then next Sunday, next some Cardiff from the Janeiro. And that brings us in nicely for International Week. As if it wasn't enough. Wales playing Gibraltar. Just on the roads from Flint at the race course in a friendly before heading back to Cardiff. Play Croatia. Should be interesting. See how it goes. <laughs> Rafael did well. Held it up. On it goes. Harling. Well, got there first as well. Good work from Lewis Harling. Kirkhoff causing problems. Miles Davis. And again, just not landing for Pennebont. Jack Kenny. Little is back. And Kenny's done it again. He's passed Little. Franklin's waiting in the middle. Red shirts arriving. Franklin turns, fancies his chances. Davis was in there as well. Harley Franklin looking so strong as a Connors key. John Disney. Fancy his chances. 199th appearance in the league this afternoon for John Disney. 199 not out. Or oh, Kenny to Franklin. He's just controlling everything at the minute. Franklin, Edwards, Morris, Connors Key building again. Aaron Williams challenging the captain, Kane Owen. Lovely clip to Disney. Cross a bit too strong from John Disney. Connor's key captain. But again, lovely build up from Connor's key. And across the pitch, you're seeing players on the top of their game. Harry Franklin certainly caught the eye. Noah Edwards as well looks so comfortable. Neil Gibson knows his players, and his players know the manager as well. Pennebont with Harling bursting forward. Goalkeepers out. Harrington mopping up. They did well as Rushton rushed out. But it could all change in an instant. In this league, in any league. Just when you think everybody's comfortable, everybody's happy in football, it can change so quickly. 
Other scores today, Cardiff and Swansea winning in the championship. So wait to see where this one goes from Rushton. Plenty going on in League Two on the race course. Three all, Wrexham and crew. Wrexham with ten men scoring an equaliser in the 95th minute, as they love to do. Wrexham. People County, unfortunately, lost 2-1 at Salford. in the Cymru Prem this afternoon, as we showed earlier. The new Saints hitting four against Pontypridd Newtown. Six wins in a row now after beating Bala 1-0. Carnarvon thumping 3-0 victory away at Ballytown. Halford West, same scoreline at home against 10-man Aberystwyth. Two all, Colin Bay, Cardiff Met. As we... Seem to have a problem with the ball, maybe. Pause in play. Sure, what the problem is. It's changing the match ball. Off we go again. Great first half for Connors Key. 2 0 up, playing well. As you'd expect, when you've won six in a row, you're going to be full of confidence. Just to repeat those scores again. Colin Bay were ahead 2 1 in that game, ahead twice. And Brandon Diao put them ahead and then scored an own goal. It's a howler. As well, you can see that on social media, Scott, your social media. Lovely stuff from Miles Davis, keeping control. And gaining yards. Owen Kirkhoff, one of the new players. Pennapont joined in the summer. From Ponta Dawe, being forced back for keeping possession. Jeffries. Cross to Yard West. Back to Penner. Son of Tony Penner, Caverford West manager, he'll be happier today. 3 0 win against Aberystwyth. He said they were in a rut. Following a midweek draw with Cardiff Mets. I'm sure that will help. Three goals, three points. Free kick. Pennapont. Foot was high. Ashley Evans. Has felt that one. Former Merthyr man, Evans. Been with Penabon since 2020. Now, he's even get a yellow card here. Jordan David, yes, he is. You had a feeling it was coming. You can't believe it. Here's the incident again. Uh, studs showing, maybe. Davis not happy. Feel some sympathy for him as Penabont launched one. Kirk off again. Little. Can anybody create from the back of Cape? You're looking for Venables. There's the big central defenders that were there. Josh Yorworth. He's a giant. Got the header on target at least. What do do for now for Penabont as they try to get back into this game? Rushton under a bit of pressure. Venables isn't going to hold back. Owen. Kick off again. Well, Owen can spin it towards Keon Rafael. Here's the chance for Josh Yorworth. The player who's getting his second chance in the game here at Penabont. was around the Football League and got caught up in controversy. Was banned for four years for avoiding a drugs test. One of the biggest 
drug bans in the history of the Football League. But since that ban finished, Rhys Griffiths and Pennebont giving him a second chance, a reforms character, to be fair. And he has stood out since joining as well. It's a tough afternoon so far for them. Connors Key off again. Jeffries is back. Well, Harry Franklin nicks it. Noah Edwards busy as usual. Connors Key slowing it down again. Keeping control. Roberts. Franklin. Well, Williams. Seems to be on the same wavelength at the minute. Connors Key. Cross was unfortunate. Out it went. But again, decent build up from Connors Key. Oh, the hood's done. He must be happy, Neil Gibson. He's been, well, he's managed here with Flint, did so well. Then left, mass exodus. Of players as well. So much success with Prestatin. Out of the coaching team of Connors Key as well, Neil Gibson. And you can see the work that's gone in with this team. To take a slight risk at the back. Got away with it, Jack Kenny. Battling for everything. Jeffries under pressure. Got sent off last season against Connors Key, Jeffries. Oh, fancy repeating that this evening. Williams. He was past him. Kick off. Conceding the free kick. It's tricky. To be fair, Aaron Williams. Nearly into the last five minutes of this first half. No Edwards was desperate for the ball. He's screaming. Wasn't very really subtle, but he was in the space. Still wants it, Edwards. They all want it, to be fair. Jack Kenny calling for it. Disney will whip it in. Miles Davis with the flick. Jordan Davis with his eighth of the season. Jack Kenny with his fourth. Goal scorers for Connors Key so far. Harrington. Redshirt queuing in the middle. Jeffries across. Disney smashing it. Harrington. Clips it in again. Well, they've half cleared. It's dropped to Davis. Morris. Callum Morris again. On they go. Disney. Morris. Intricate build up. Venables standing firm. Especially Venables. He's won a free kick for his team. Great work by Chris Venables. He's having to do that work deep in his own half. He makes his way to the Connors key half. By then, they've lost possession. They'll get it back, though. Miles Davis keeps it in. Venables waiting in the middle. Pennebont. Desperate to grab something before half-time. Davis and Harling combining. Lovely work. There's an offside here. But a glimpse of what Pennebont have to offer. We haven't seen enough of that. Harling. And Miles Davis played together for a few seasons now. Couldn't find the killer pass offside as well. Rushton. Connors Key, keep possession again. Kenny, again, he's battling for everything, Jack Kenny. 
never gives up. Rafael under pressure. He was looking towards the referee. That is key, slowing things down in these last few minutes. Well, you've got to say, very impressive first half from Connors Key. So many aspects of their game. Just seeing it here, they've kept possession well. As the commentator compliments, they lose the ball. You know what I mean, <laughs> they've been doing well, keeping possession, controlling the pace of the game, building from deep. Penn and Bonds will be wondering what happened, especially after the first five minutes. They were doing so well. Started brightly, to say the least, Penn and Bonds. Jeffries, Keon Rafael. Easy clearance by Nash. Harling, Little. Venables battling for everything. Little still there. Now then, Owen can deliver. Venables waiting in the middle. Comes Key, will clear, Kirkhoff. Red shirts in front of him, just no way through. No Edwards goes down, gets the free kick, job done. And a glimpse there of how many players were back for Connors Key. As Kirkhoff turns, he just ran into a wall of reds. Kenny, got the slight touch. I don't attempt fate, but I think the weather's improving as well. Quite as wet and windy as it was on kickoff. Chris Griffiths was hiding in the dugout. He stepped out. He'll have a lot to say in the changing room at half time. Been a frustrating first half for his team. We're all waiting for the long throw from Connors Key. He went to Ben Nash. Ben Bont need to stand firm here. Aaron Williams over on the left wing. No. Going to a bit of trouble. Ben Bont finally clear. But they're deep in their own half. Foul in the end against Chris Venables. Again, we're seeing Venables so deep, just trying to affect the game, help his teammates. Just waiting to see how long will be added on at the end of this first half. There we go. As if by magic. Three is the magic number as well at the end of the first half. Could be more, Kosh. The fantastic half for Connors Key. Can Pennebont just grab something in these final few minutes that will change the whole complexion of the game? Jeffries. Harling again. Kirkhoff. Owen. Rafael's in the middle. Venables in the middle. So close. That's all it takes. One chance. And Venables is waiting. He's not happy, or is it frustration? Well, it could just be. Well, he thinks it's a foul by Nash. To see it again, it could even have been a stunning tackle from Ben Nash. Well, that's what Pennebont need to do. Owen again, released on the left. The left foot of his is, is just unreal. A wand, seeing we were on the theme of magic earlier. And he delivered. Venables was nearly there to finish it off. Captain Kane Owen. It's no surprise that he's constantly picked in the team of the season. Three seasons in a row now, Owen. Look, it's lifted Penabon straight away. You can just see 
Just one little incident like that suddenly lifts the team. Thomas Keel had it easy in midfield. You see Harling, Hassling, Noah Edwards all of a sudden. That's what the manager wants to see. But, but, is the time for another Connors Key goal? Davis, great save. Pennock got down. Could have been three, that would have been game over, I think. Just as Pennebont looked for a way back. Connors Key nearly made it three. Well, Davis is absolutely on fire this season. Scored this afternoon. Eight goals already this season. Did well for Hanford West, but I'm sure he feels closer to home, shall we say? Back with Connors Key. Ben and Bont have lifted themselves. To concede now would be devastating. Right at the end of the first half, Nash slid in. And Ben and will try and counter-attack. Rafael, he is tricky. There's too many red shirts back. Down they go. That's probably it for this half. Just as Rafael was hoping to release something. Referee making his way back. Aaron Williams is down. Referee might want to remind him that the whistle's going to go in a few seconds. And if he wants treatment, he can have it. All through half-time in the changing rooms. Maybe four minutes now, over the 45. Waiting for the inevitable whistle, maybe, or, or is there time for one last chance for Pennebont? Seems like it. As the visitors lofted in. Oh, there's nobody there on the far post. And finally, the whistle blows. First half finishes. And Connors Key have surely enjoyed that 2 0 up. Jordan Davis got the first. He'd put the ball in the net before. He got his first. One was disallowed for offside, but then didn't take long to make it one. Pennapont claiming the ball hit his arm there. Might be able to see it again from this angle. Davis doesn't care. Eighth goal of the season and the second from back to front. A mistake by Little and Jack Kenny strolled through. Cool finish as well from Jack Kenny. That's his fourth of the season in the league. Tough times for Penabont. They've got glimpses of what they've got to offer. But it's a big half time. For their manager, Priest Griffiths. Connors Key ahead. 2 0 during half time. A few things for you to enjoy and uh, starting with the chief exec of the Welsh chef, Noel Mooney, who's been giving us an update on the, uh, on the FAW's review of all things Welsh football recently. Two years into the R Wales, I'm Cymru. We wanted to update everybody on how we're doing against our strategy. So we launched a strategy in September 2021, which had six pillars, high performance, a sustainable association for the future. So our governance and how we govern ourselves, participation, get more girls and boys to play football, workforce, getting more volunteers and so on to the game, facilities, which was about building pitches um, across uh, the country, and then Wales in the world stage, which was how we would bring Cymru to the world through hosting tournaments or through playing on the world stage or getting onto the UEFA Exco or FIFA Council and different things, getting our place at the heart of the game. So we presented today the six pillars um, and the progress we've made against each of them. So if you look at high performance, obviously we 
uh, qualified for the World Cup finals, which was fantastic with the men's team in 2022. Our under-17s qualified for the European Championships for the first time in 41 years in Hungary this summer. Um, but also, I mean, if you look at the high performance, we've got a high performance strategy, which is about getting more coach education. Wales has developed its coach education, so the top players and coaches in the world often find themselves coming to Wales to learn how to become a coach, which is something we've developed uh, much, much further. We've developed the girls' game massively, so we've got academies north and south which deliver a lot better quality of girls. Um, you can see under 17s today, for example, beat Italy over in Portugal and they beat Denmark the other day 3-0 as well, for example. So we're seeing improvements in the younger age groups in girls and as that 17s group is the first to really benefit from that. But you'll see more and more Wales national teams getting more successful because of the hard work that's gone in over the last uh, couple of years and will continue to go in. If you look at the participation, we said we'd have 120,000 players by 2026. We're now heading towards 114,000 players. We're seeing every measure along the way. Our finances, for example, over the last uh, couple of years, we've seen very healthy finances qualify for the World Cup helps, but we don't budget to qualify for any major tournament. We haven't budgeted to qualify for Euro 24. So if we qualify for Euro 24, it's a complete bonus for the FAW. Now, any spare money we get, like qualifying for a tournament, every shilling of that at the moment is being passed to our Comrie Football Foundation which is about building grassroots facilities across the country, would have spent £20 million over the life of this strategy on grassroots facilities, something that's never been seen in Wales before. And right across the country there's new pitches going, but it's not enough. And we need more help from Welsh Government, we need more help from the UK Government and the 22 local authorities, and a shared vision for the FAW to keep driving its revenue so that we can play our parts and put our money where our mouth is to build the facilities we need. There are discussions ongoing, have been going for a couple of years. The plan to spend heavily on the Cymru Premier and talking points are the league structure I mean how are things going in terms of that we're moving really well I mean people want to you know a big launch and da-da, here it is it's not quite how it works um, we're out at the, in the market for the moment for a head of domestic leagues who'll be the de facto managing director or CEO of the league if you will who's going to lead this coming to Premier Division we've done the work with the club so we've got eight principles whether it's community engagement facilities format so if you talk about the format for example you don't just announce here's the format you consult with people and we look at data and we look at insights. So what we're doing at the moment is the terms of reference for that group that will be a mix of clubs and non-club people, FAW people, and look at, is the 12 thing working? Should we go to 16, which I often hear said, maybe we go 12, 14, 16, maybe we go 18. I don't know. I don't want to predicate that. And the reason is we'll have the terms of reference soon for the group. We'll formulate the group, but it'll be the job of the head of domestic leagues, really, who will have a commercial strategic background to create great partnerships with sponsors, with media rights, TV companies, with you know all the different people we need to have to drive this league forward and to manage the league, um, to ensure it goes. What we do know is it's not anywhere near reached its potential. We're really acutely aware of that. And I know from day one when I came in, the best business model we keep seeing is where a club can be the heart of its community, that it really reaches out into the community, whether it's the schools, senior citizens, companies. The FAW have done a terrific job over the last decade of being part of Welsh society, of Welsh life. And we reap the benefits every day because people want to be around us, people want to come to our matches, people want to invest in us. We've shown that we're part of Welsh life. We drive the language, equality, diversity, and inclusion, sustainability, comely well-being in the world. We reflect Welsh society, I think, quite well. Now, if a football club, which is a microcosm of the FAW, if that reflects society in its area and connects with the people of the area, we know there's so much evidence out there that shows if it's the heart of the community, it'll reap the benefits. It has to be genuine, it has to be authentic, but if it is, the club will reap the benefits. That is beyond proven. Performance. Now, whatever the level, the reality is success breeds success. And the performance of the senior teams mm. in qualifying tor for tournaments obviously is a huge part of that to support the rest of the pillars, isn't it? The success of the Welsh men's national team over the last decade has certainly been a catalyst to huge growth in football. There's no other way of looking at it. The women's team, they're breaking glass ceilings all the time with attendances, so we're seeing a, an explosion in women's football, thankfully, across Cymru as well, which is great. That said, we do need to be successful. We need to qualify for tournaments. We're acutely aware of that. So nobody demands it more than we do ourselves, by the way. We want to keep um, qualifying for tournaments. That said, we can't budget to qualify for every single tournament. We're a population of 3.2, 3.3 million people. We're up against countries like 100, 300, 400 million people. So it would be reckless to budget for qualifying for every tournament. We can't, but we qualify for a lot of them now, thankfully, which is fantastic. I think we've qualified for the last three out of four, which is great. 
but it doesn't stop. We can't get complacent. We have to keep qualifying. We really hope to qualify for Germany automatically. We still have a chance of doing that. When Croatia come here on that Sunday night in October, I think it'll be a fantastic night. We'll have a full house here. We'll have the red wall in full voice. And I'm convinced that our group will do Comrie really proud that night. Well, I think I've a new one coming at Klaus. So let's uh, start to come out and look team football and kind of look in the uh, tavern and kind of paint the my apple lemon up up bows as well. Man, I quite then means I paint our meal one of the old and a reckless and a paint the here. I didn't have to write on our lock of all. Yeah, just the thing I was on here. Part of the sudden, we seen Kerr and McIntyre and we saw the car. What they made. I thought, oh, I'm not helping you to connect here. We're not having the corner flag, so then he's here and helping Gillis. I'm not really about the most attack, just in, yeah, in the Tariq action, the Lenske. My focus is on the Sharda. Yeah, I'm not in, yeah, fighting, you're not going to hear about it. So I'm a force and I'm just fighting, so I'm a force and I'm a force and I'm a force and I'm a force and I'm a force. Gallech chi fi bresti newydd yn fanno yn. Dwi wrth i'n rhoi dan newydd o pryd yn yr penalty spots a bach yn bach y twch yn ar y funud. Ydy hwn yma allwch waith mae bob wynger yn gorau newydd cyn cychwyn gem dys adon? Na, chdi, dim o gwbl. Ie, mae bryn iawn dwi yn yr adol yma, so dwi'n bod pam dwi'n neud hyn. Ni'r i holi yma o ddwy i ddim ar hyn o bryd. Nid dyna oedd y cynllun, ac e? Na, ac e. Ond dyna ni'n hoff iawn o fynd i'n gol i ddim ar ei holi. Ond mae dwy i ddim bach yno ach dod yn ôl. Maen nhw'n dweud wrtha i oedd chi yng nghlwm me fo sefydlu'r clwb ma'n reiddiol yn ôl yn 1989? O ddan, ond na, gryw yna ni. Yn chwarae i ddim â gohanol. Dipyn yn chwarae pemachno ac yn i chwarae llan rwst. Yn derfynu dweud sy'n gilydd a dechrau tîm. A dyna ni'n dal efo tîm mae wan. 34 o fynyddo wedyn. A maen nhw'n dweud wrthau hefyd bod chi wedi sgorio ambell i gol? Do, ambell i yn do 683 oedd y tali yn diwedd. Dros 16 tymor. I fod yna yna, ystyr yn dweud mae'n lella sy'n nhw'n gallu wneud efo'ch sgidio a sgorio chi ar y cae na pnaw ma. Swn i'n mynd ar y cae i wan, swn i'n gallu cefau atyn dwi'n mercher. Well, it's just gone in for Kimmel Bay, not Alan. It's well, not it? broke our news afternoon not, today. It's not our day today, is it? Is this a, a regular occurrence? I won't say regular, but it's, it's happened a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure, lads, they've got good team spirit, and I'm sure they'll 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 come back a bit. They'll make a better game of it. At the minute, Brooke Hernew are a Tier 4 team. Obviously, we'd like to build for the future and get a bit higher, but just to be, at the minute, just to be competitive in the league, um, that's probably our main aim this season. And uh, just get as high as possible but uh, it's not going great at the minute. Half time is getting closer now, what would you like the message to be at half time, your chairman of just course? To, just to keep going, not let your heads drop, um, they've had their chances already, it's not like it's been totally one sided, I know the scoreline shows 3-0 but it's not been that way and just keep going, one goal makes all the difference and it'll lift everyone. Ni, pan derfyn ni dechrau so, cymryd taliadau ar y gath y ballu, um, just i roi boost i'r clwb, achos so, dyn ni'n ni bentra bach yn chwarae yn erbyn clwbiau eitha mawr, so dyn ni'n cael yr un un math o bres yn do fewn, so mae hyn, mae'r gath ar caffi y ballu yn bwysig i fyny ni. I gadw'r hoci yn fynd, a so, mae nhw'n creu cymdeithach sbach neis yma hefyd. Beth am sydd mae pethau mynd ar y cae, achos da chi ar i holi o beth a i'r gol i ddim ar hyn o bryd? Mae'n anodd iawn sy'n ffortio ar y hoci, yn chwarae teg. Dyn ni yma'n gwylio lot o gemau eraill, lle maen nhw'n colli yn deio. Ond oedd i ddweud, mae'r plant yma maen nhw'n dal eisio bod yr hoci yn ennill ac yn trio. Mae gŵr fi'n chwarae yn y gol, so mae'n anodd i fi, achos fi sy'n cael o'r diwedd y gem. Mae o'n bod o, dwi wedi colli eto, mae'r gwylio hyd yn cymryd yr yr hen deimlad o teimlo'n eog am bob dim.
O en dechrau ar i holi o bum gol i ddim ar bun hyn. Di am y pnawn a dych chi'n gobeithio am dan y wella. Na, dechrau i dod ar wrth o llong ymwl. Na, dechrau i'n gwneud ymwl. Sonediwch ar y ddân o fo. Mynd eto os o'n ysa, gobeithio mi well. Six in the end. You made it look easy today. Yeah, well, we've had a bit of a we've had a bit of a problem the last few weeks. Um, we've got a bit of a poor run of results, but um, we've got a lot of quality in the side, and it's just taken a few weeks to get going. So we had a bit of a chat in the week, sat everyone down, and we've had a reaction from them today. So yeah, it certainly wasn't an issue today for you, was it? You couldn't stop the boys from scoring. No, and to be honest, with you, we're, we're a side that's built on scoring goals. We've, we've always scored a lot of goals, um, and we we try to encourage it because. Ultimately, it's it, you know, we're lads are here to enjoy it's grassroots football and we want them to enjoy their football, so nothing more enjoyable than scoring goals, is there? I think just set log up on the I don't see him quest many I do not know. Air tactics are they many on heavy matter? I think just them set log up. I think them the nah sweating out and just some of them line that's just this so and just like one just hang on down a lot. A couple of paints uh I'm going to him again, I don't know. Welcome back. Second half approaching. There's a change amongst the officials, and it's Tom Owen grabbing the flag. So the linesman's received a knock or pulled a muscle. So Tom Owen, the fourth official, is taking his place. So it's 2 0 half time. And everybody's uh, in full agreement. How impressive Konski were in that first half. And for those of you not familiar with these two teams, Konski have possession all in red, playing from right to left, Pen and Bont away from home, all in white. Konski technically away from home as well. They're playing their home games at Flint this season. And they're loving life as well. They haven't lost since moving it to Kyle Kastech. And they seem to have changed their style as well. All new. New look, Connors Key, shall we say. Keeping possession, looking very confident. So the attempt to close the gap between them and the New Saints. It's two points, start of the afternoon. New Saints have beaten Ponskeith 4 0, so five points gap, but then Ponskeith can win again. Back to two points, and more importantly, they'll be five points clear from Newtown in thirds. Under the win against one of their rivals, if that happens, against Penabont, they'll be delighted. Long way to go, mind. As we see Harry Franklin again, full of confidence. What a run from Franklin, he's so strong as well. Oh, I went too far, if anything. Good start to the second half again for Penabont. Afternoon's results on the bottom of the screen. A draw, Colin Bay ahead twice in that game. Very unfortunate on goal. You can see that on Scotia's social media sites. To make it 2 all. Thumping win for Alford West and Carnarvon away at Barry. Newton have now won six in a row. Ball have lost three in a row in the league. The New Saints hit four against Pontypridd. Carnarvon this season 
have only lost against the top three from last season, so these two teams and the New Saints. Decent start, to say the least, for the Covies. After Barry beat Bala last weekend. Carnarvon went to Jenna Park this afternoon and hit three. Chris Griffiths watching from the sidelines. Doesn't look too happy, to say the least. You can't blame him either. As we pause for some attention, start of the second half, Neil Gibson. Much happier. Must be delighted with what he's seen so far and recently from his team. They just look a different team this season, to be fair. Declan Poole poised to come on. Aaron Williams was the player receiving treatment. Looks like his afternoon might be coming to an end. Aaron Williams. And off he goes. It's been lively this afternoon. Aaron Williams. Declan Poole. Coming on in his place. Turn to Connors Key in the summer after one season with Buxton in the National League North. Started a few games this season already. He's got the goal as well. I was saying earlier about the goal scoring run. Connors Key, only the New Saints have scored more. 11 different players have scored as well for them. Gone in the days where they were waiting for Mike Wilde to pounce. And a scrappy start to the second half. I think there's... Again? Well, not for the first time this afternoon. Not happy with the match ball. They've got plenty of choice down on the sides. Kano went happy in the end. He's loved that one forward anyway. And a bunt. just needs something to land at the minute. Little. Well, well left from Konski. All sorts of tussling in the middle. Pool's just come on straight into a wrestling match with Chris Venables. So you come on as a sub and the first thing you face is Chris Venables. <laughs> it's not going to be easy to settle. Declan Poole did well. Very, very scrappy start to the second half. Connors Key won't care about that. They've done their job. 2-0 up. Thanks very much. To go again, Disney. Noah Edwards. Roberts. That's a reset. Penabon to pinch it. Benables looking to Rafael. Scrappy from both teams right now. Konski will try and change that. And Franklin again. Zeus did strength. The pass wasn't correct. Kenny was ready for it. But again, Franklin is just... He's turning into space in the midfield. Looking so strong. Harling. Under pressure. Back he goes. Owen. Harling, an option. Just not going for them, is it, at the minute? Penabont. And a bot been on a decent run. Won the last three after losing two in a row. They lost away to Bala, then home to Colwyn Bay. Colwyn Bay's first victory in the Cymru Prem. Oh, waiting for the offside flag there. Play on, said the officials as Venables tried to turn. 
thought for a minute he was complaining to the referee. He's changed his mind. He's complaining to the linesman now. Thought he was being held, I think. We'll see it again. Benables into Harrington. Well, there's arms everywhere. Was it a massive protest at first from Venables and then suddenly turn to the linesman? Can't blame him for asking the question. And I guess for Penabont, is just hang on in there. Let's see if they can grab a goal. See what that does to this afternoon. Connors Key have had the best of things recently against Penabont and in general. Penabont promoted in 2019. They've only won once against Connors Key. And if you like your stats, the first game between these two teams in the Cymru Prem, four years ago to yesterday. 12 games since then. Penabont have won once. Connors Key have won five of those. They tend to be close games. They don't concede many either. Connors Key. We'll see what happens in these next few minutes. Lovely ball, Harrington. Little challenging him. Scored once in the last five against Konarski, Penabont. That's the challenge that faces them at the minute. That's Kyle Kastech, the new home of Konarski. And they're feeling at home as well right now as they launch this one in. Penabont underneath as Rafael flicks it on. Back it comes. And a bond needs to be on their guard here. So many red shirts up there. Noah Edwards from Davis. Scrambling at the minute to clear. But can they do more than that? Pennabont. Harling. Leading the charge. Owen. Superb pass. They're waiting in the middle. Can they deliver? Well, it's scrappy. The kickoff. Keeps possession. Little. Plenty of white shirts in there. Penabont needs to deliver here as Venables is up. Venables off the line. I think it was Nash that got there. Venables was in the middle of it, as usual, as you'd expect as well. Kept going. And so did Nash. Penabont building up a bit of pressure. Hearing that the visitors are preparing to substitute as well. That's what they need, Penabont. One chance, one goal. It's all changed, Kirkhoff. Again, those white shirts in the middle, because Kane Owen can deliver, as usual. A little shift in things in the last few minutes. Not a massive shift, but enough to give Penabont... A glimmer of hope as Yodreth goes back to Pennock. Didn't feel totally confident through the whole period of passing. It's a decent pass to Rafael. Little's an option as well. Rafael's full of tricks. Can he deliver something? Venables waiting again, far post. And as Rafael slipped, the cross wasn't as dangerous as Noah Edwards clears. Set me, set me, set me. contemplating a substitution. Franklin's back, defending. Harrington clears. Slow down, maybe some tired legs in the Connors key. Team. And again, Penix tried to clear. I think he's injured himself. Jordan Davis doesn't care. Davis for Connors key. Davis! It's 3 0. Unfortunate incident for Pennabont. Goalkeeper Pennock injured while clearing the ball. No mercy from the Nomads. 
as Jordan Davis grabs his second of the game, his ninth of the season, and surely it's game over. Connors key three, Pennapont nil. Here's the incident. There's the injury. Pennock has pulled a muscle. Davis played on. Well, you can't blame him. He may not even have been aware of the injury. He's just constantly looking at the ball, to be fair, to Jordan Davis. As I say, probably wasn't even aware the Pennock was injured. But they played on, battled for everything. And it's 3-0 for Connors Key. Pennapont were preparing this substitution before that goal. So Ryan Reynolds is coming on instead of Mark Little. Reynolds, last year's player of the season. North Walian. Amongst the goals already this season. Reynolds. But Pennock doesn't look right, does he? Alex Harris is ready to come on. Joined in the summer, played in Europe, played the first five games of the season. And then lost his place to Pennock. Looks like he's getting his chance back in goal. Such a disappointing moment and a costly moment for Pen of Want. They've lost their goalkeeper, they've conceded a third. Horrible afternoon for the visitors from South Wales. Don't remind them about the journey home either. It's not a nice one in any weather. 3 0. Two for Davis, one for Jack Kenny. Three goals. Surely three points for Connors Key. Going to take an incredible turnaround now. It could get even worse for Pennebon, to be fair. Test of their character now just to stay in it. Well, the way Connors Key are playing. We're waiting for the offside flag. Franklin, Kenny's in the middle. Davis arriving on a hat trick. Over the bar it goes. So close. Again, Pennebontra looking towards the linesman. McConaughey in control. Morris started it all. Franklin timed his run as he's done all afternoon. And had a look as well. Didn't just blast it across. Waited for Davis to arrive. That's why he's applauding. He's thanking Franklin. He's still smiling. Can't really blame him, can you? Nine goals already this season. People are commenting about his goals last season. Rafael has a swing at it. Why not? Let's try something. Miles Davis, Harling. Davis continues his run. Struggling here. Pen and Bont. Nice clip by Miles Davis. Disney clears. Davis lost possession. Suddenly, Reynolds, the sub for Pennebont, Miles Davis delivers, as he so often does. But Poole clears. Into the final half hour, 3 0 up, Connors Key. They've had 29 goals now this season. Oh, there's a clash there off the ball. Ashley Evans isn't happy. Some work for the referee to do. Jack Kenny not doing much. Frustration from Evans, you'd have thought. It looked accidental, to be totally honest. I think Evans is going to get a yellow here for his reaction. Jack Kenny being invited over as well, shall we say? And I feel sometimes they just give both players yellow cards. This man just can't quite 
believe the decision. Let's see it again. So there's the push by Kenny. It was a tussle. Evans reacts. Not much in it. Final decision. They both get yellow cards. It's easier in the long run, I thought. Benabont. Attempting to get back in the game. A little push there on the Disney from Kirkhoff. Two Connors key players making sure he knows about it. Has he paid to come back in? John Disney? He looks happy. Captain's happy. Well, do you know what? We can laugh, but there was a shove there. Nothing came of it. So we'll move on, shall we? I think. Franklin, up he goes again. Davis. Harrington. John Disney was uh, in the middle of things in the week. Against Colin Bay, got in a bit of trouble. So and the ledge died. Looking for a penalty, the referee said, play on. Certainly didn't dive there with the advertising hoarding. Well, Kirchhoff was under pressure there. Some Connors key players, you think, not too happy with the push. Owen, lovely cross. As usual, it lands for the substitute. Reynolds lashes it. Wide it goes. In the grand scheme of things this afternoon, that's a... One of the best chances for Penabont. Got over it. He's grabbed a few goals, scored a couple against Aberystwyth recently. Disney flying in as well. It's getting a bit heated here since that kickoff push on Disney. Benables peels away. Get so much time there. Still has time. Venables. Hey, Josh, all you. Come on. How often have we seen him peel away at that far post? Maybe he didn't realise how many, how much time he had. It's interesting to hear manager Bruce Griffiths, the big friends, saying about. I was surprised, not surprised by Venables, just. The way he plays, the way he looks after himself, first to training, last to leave, still learning, still contributing so much. 38 years old now. Twenty-five to go. Tough twenty-five for Penavant. They've done well to be fair. Just to hang on in there. Still trying to get something from this game. But Connor's key in control, Morris, lovely ball. They've looked class apart this afternoon. Now it's late. Late tackle. They felt that one. Kirkhoff again. Not too many complaints from Connors Key, to be fair. Two more substitutes waiting to come on. Wendy Jones is one of them. And John Brown stood up. Let's see if he's coming on. Joined in the summer. Played all around the world, John Brown. Not sure if he's played at Flint before. Well, I think Kirchhoff's had a yellow card in the middle of all that. He did fly in a bit, but I think it's for arguing in the end. Not 
sure what he said. Kirchhoff. If it doesn't rhyme with his surname. Halfway through the second half. Poliski. Again. Ball with the close. Nash furthest forward. And a bunt. Harling. Davis. Harling again. White shirts piling forward. Down he goes. They turn to the referee. There's a penalty here. Rafael pushed down. And maybe, just maybe, a way back into this game for Pennebont. Plenty of room. Harling with the pass. Roberts with the foul. Oh, I think that's pretty straightforward. Didn't see a card appear. And from the spot, Chris Venables again. 19 years since he scored his first goal against Connors Key. Trying to grab one for Pennebont this afternoon. In it goes. Venables again. His sixth league goal of the season. And maybe, just maybe, a glimmer of hope for the visitors. Well, suddenly, it looks a whole lot better, doesn't it? Kenny might get there first. And Miles Davis comes away for Pennebont. Slight spring in their step. Won't go over the top, but slightly happier anyway. Still 20 minutes to go. Ryan Reynolds. Options. Harling. Miles Davis again can certainly deliver. Venables had time, not for the first time either. Suddenly some questions for Connors Key. They've answered most questions this afternoon. But Kirkhoff looking for Rafael again. Crucial minutes here. If Pennebont can get back into this game, but Connors Key will try and counter attack. Kenny to Franklin. It's so impressive tonight. Harry Franklin. Edwards. Lovely football again. Harrington. Connors Key. Lifting it. Kenny was waiting. Morris. Poole. The substitute. Disney. Lovely touch from John Disney. Fancy the shot as well, he's still there. The captain. Under intense pressure in the end. And the clear in the end as well. As Pennebont try and respond, Connors Key kick into gear as well. We might have some fun and games in these final 20 minutes. Thought he was going to drift into nothing. But Pennebont. Another effort, way off target. And it took a deflection. They'll have a corner. It's a bizarre game, football. Connors have been in total control. And suddenly, just some doubts appear. One goal, one incident, one pass, one penalty. And a bond strike again. Bodies going everywhere. Referee gives the decision. Connors keys way. They'll be happy with that. Quite a tussle in the middle. As we see it again. Oh, all sorts going on. Josh Yorworth in the middle of it. Kind of once were preparing a few subs. Still waiting on that one. Might well be Connors Key. 
making the next sub. As Harrington goes flying. And here comes the substitution. I think Harry Franklin will be leaving. And coming on, Mr. Mike Wilde. Here he is, familiar face, familiar foe for all these clubs. Franklin leaves the field. He's been superb this afternoon. Harry Franklin. Massive contribution to this game and this man's contribution to the league in general. Also massive, 40 years old by now. Played here for Flint with Neil Gibson. And now he's with Gibson again at Connors Key. Disney crosses it straight at the goalkeeper Harris. Roberts got the header on target, but a weak header in the end. Well, this would have been devastating for Penabont. Just got a little foothold in this game. And again, they kept it in. Venables. Here they come. It's a funny situation. You can say Connors Key are panicking. They're not as happy as they were, you'd have thought. Offside against Owen. Came from a long way away. You should have read that, really. Penabon substitution coming up. Kirkhoff will be leaving. Henry Jones coming on in his place. Another one that joined in the summer from Haverford West. One of those players, on his day, can do anything. Whether it is his day, who knows? You never know with Henry Jones. Can certainly turn it on when he's on his game. With 15 minutes to go, you never know with Jones. Provide that killer pass. Especially with Chris Venable still on the pitch. 15 minutes to go. Connors Key have been in total control and they've been so impressive as well. But a Chris Venables penalty. Suddenly. Who nerves, maybe? Maybe it's just the commentator imagining it. Connors Key don't look nervous, do they? Penabont look better. That's a better assessment of the situation. As Kane Owen just gives it away. Thank you very much, Kane. Well, they weren't looking there. Ashley Evans had turned away. The pass was played towards him. Didn't cause any problems, but could have. Again, they look for Owen. Lovely ball, Owen. Crossing on the volley, and Venables was waiting in the middle. No Edwards under pressure. Concedes the corner. Well, not under pressure, just rushed, really. Didn't have many options. Jorwerth and Jeffries up from the back, the big defenders. Mike Wiles there as well. Edwards did enough to clear. Back it comes again. Owen. Bodies everywhere. Henry Jones got a touch. The substitutes tried to flick it on. Couldn't quite manage it. Here it is again. Well, you wonder if that was going in anyway. Well, the keeper was ready for it. Henry Jones with the corner. Surely we can't get something from this game. Penabont Jones towards the big men. Oh, they're not clearing convincingly. That'll do. Back it comes for Penabont. Henry Jones again. Harling in the middle. What a chance. Ryan Reynolds with the run. 
perfect pass from Henry Jones. That was a chance, and he knows it. Henry Jones, perfect, perfect cross. And Ryan Reynolds couldn't deliver. Chris Venables behind him. Looks frustrated. Disney's gone down. Receiving some treatments. Take the sting out of the game as well. There might be a bit of game management going on. Couldn't possibly comment. Just Penabon trying to build up a head of steam. Slows everything down. Even in the last ten minutes. Well, his expression's hardly changed, Trees Griffiths. He'll be bitterly disappointed as things stand. But also, to be fair, his team haven't given up, certainly haven't thrown in the towel. You have to compliment them for that. It could easily have been heavier. They've hung on in there. Even grabbed one back. Still battling. Harling. Some confusion from Penabont in the end. Out it goes. What's going on in the football world today? Mentioned earlier. Cardiff and Swansea both winning in the championship. Wrexham 3 all at home to crew. In League Two. Newport County lost. At Salford. Late game in the Premier League. Tottenham and Liverpool, one all at the minute. Liverpool down to ten men. In that one, Curtis Jones was sent off. Liverpool had a goal disallowed before Son scored for Spurs, but then right on half time, deep into injury time. Cody Gakpo equalising for Liverpool, and that's where they are at the minute, half an hour to go in that one ten minutes to go here got a few goal scorers on the pitch and around the pitch here haven't we Mark Lloyd Williams the top scorer in the history of the league but next on the list comes Rhys Griffiths the Penabont manager Mike Wiles on the pitch and Chris Venables they're all up there as well Penabont would love another one here. Ten to go. And what would that do to this game? A lot of ifs and buts. But if they score, anything could happen. Up it goes again. Yardworth. Owen will deliver as usual for Penabont. Venables in there. Penabont in there. They've got one. Penabont to hit again. Jeffries has struck. Unbelievable reaction from Penabont. You keep mentioning if they get one back, more in hope than anything. They've done just that. Jeffries with the header. You give Kano in the ball. You know what's coming next. The perfect cross and the perfect header from Dan Jeffries. His first of the season. He got sent off against Connors Key last season. He scored against them tonight. And there's time for another one. Huge reaction from Penabont, to be fair. Just haven't given up. Shown some character. And Connor's key. They've totally controlled this game. And they haven't really done much wrong. But suddenly it's 3 2. A penalty tucked away by Chris Venables. And now Dan Jeffries pops up with the goal. Got an interesting final ten minutes to go. Well, we thought he was going to drift away into nothing. They were 3-0 up, coasting. 
Pen and Bond just hung on in there. Just in case. And Jordan Davis made it three. Just over half an hour to go. Following an injury as well to Alex Pennock, the Pennebont's goalkeeper. He just thought, that's it, game over. I think a certain commentator even said game over. <laughs> oh well. You never know in football. Disappointing pass by Josh Yorworth. But this time, well, if Penn and Bonds leave Flint with anything tonight, there'll be a remarkable turnaround. Bonski 2-0 up half-time. Jordan Davis and Jack Kenny with the early goals. Davis got another one. Made it 3-0, and then a Venables penalty with 20 minutes to go. But Jeffrey's had it with 10 minutes to go. It's game on, from game over to game on, and here they go again. Jones substitutes, can whip it in. So dangerous. Venables is lurking. He just knows that the players out there that can deliver. You've got Kane Owen, Henry Jones, Miles Davis, these guys, ball at their feet, so dangerous. With the crossing. Mike Wild. First we mentioned Wild since he came on as a sub. How will Connors Key react? Well, it's landed kindly. Wild's gone down in the area. He's turned to the referee. It's coming together, I think, this Penabont. Try to clear again. Reynolds, lovely skills, they're through. Rafael, Venables in the middle. Rafael tackles back. There's an offside. That's what's going on as Declan Poole celebrates. The tackle and the decision. Owen, the linesman, explaining the decision. Reynolds, that's the one he's given. That looks tight. There's a huge, huge tackle by Poole. And he's celebrating as well as if he scored a goal. Just a moment that sums it up defensively for Connors Key. You'd love to see that reaction, don't you, from your players in that situation. Eddie Clark's coming on. For Jack Kenny. I want to tell you that Eddie Clark has never scored. He'll realise that he's coming on to protect the lead rather than to grab a fourth. Been with the club for a few seasons now. Johnny from Brutal. Played in the Football League, Eddie Clark of Fleetwood and Macclesfield. Plenty of experience. Mike Wilde. Well, did enough by not doing much. Got in the way, nearly landed for Jordan Davis. Davis on the hat trick, of course. Not for sure they're too worried about that. As things stand, it's all about protecting the lead. The lead was 3 0 at one point. 25 minutes ago, it was 3 0. Well, 15 minutes ago, I should say. 20 minutes to go. I've confused everybody. Basically, it was 3 0 Connors Key. And with 20 minutes to go, Chris Venables scores from the spot. 10 minutes to go. Dan Jeffries headed in a second. And here we have it. Four minutes. Plus, time added on to go. Can Pennebont grab a precious point? Especially when you consider how the game has gone. Clubs around these two teams. Would love to see a draw. Henry Jones turns. Davis. Lovely cross again by Miles Davis. Eddie Clark's first contribution. Clears. Penabont piling players forwards. Unconvincing header by Jeffries. Header for the goal is much more confusing. Harrington. 
tried to release it. Lovely touch by Venables to Rafael. Superb by Venables. Not bad from Rafael either. He's kept possession. Strong run, Jones, Rafael. Penabont combining. Venables for Penabont and of all people with the goal at his mercy. Chris Venables scoops it wide. That was it. That felt like the chance. He knows it. Of course he knows it. Fantastic move by Penabont. And Venables controlled the ball, set himself. You're just waiting for the goal. The reaction says it all. Oh, Look like Mike Wilde's feet were high. Referee plays it on. It helps that the defenders are massive in the middle for Ben Bunt. Pressure again for oh, Neil Gibson. We'll have words, I'm sure. Davis again. Venables again. Owen got there first. Took a deflection. And Rushton will be glad to land on the ball. Added on time is going to be crucial here. You never know these days. You expect it to be a few minutes. That seems to be the norm at the minute. This is another twist in the story of this game. Entertaining game here at Flint. Kai Kastek. Connor Ski going 3 0 ahead in total control. Penabon just didn't give up. Oh, it's gone out. Oh, it took a while for the decision to finally be made. Nearly reached the 90 minutes to we'll find out how long we'll be added on. Jordan Davis to Mike Wilde. Now then, Davis on the hat trick. Jordan Davis, keepers out. Chance, angle is tight. Davis doesn't care. What a goal! Harrington tucked it in. Davis is celebrating. I'm not sure if he's happy or disappointed. Surely he should be celebrating the three points. I think Harrington tucked it in. Well, the referee's going across. Oh, Harrington was offside. Is that the decision? There's some confusion on the pitch at the minute. Here's the run from Davis. It looks like it's going in. Harrington certainly touched it. Just to make sure. Harrington smashed it in. Oh, it was a goal. Confusion in the end. I thought for a minute they'd given off sides. Well, that's what the complaints are about. So Kane Owen receives a yellow card. Connors Key have made it four. Harrington scored his first of the season. But I think Jordan Davis is gutted not to get the hat trick. And over on the far side, seven minutes has been added on. It was still 3 2. Penabont would have been throwing everything at this, but that fourth goal has finished it. Surely that fourth goal has finished it. Well, if it hasn't, it's going to be a crazy game. It's been a crazy game already. Ashley Evans gives it away. Jones on again. And Connors Key are off again. Eddie Clark, the substitute, receives it from Wilde. No Edwards in the middle. Will he pass? Don't think so. Davis still fancies a hat trick. And now Connors Key can relax a bit. Clark again. Happy. Now it's gone. It's a white ball. Take the ball to the corner. Well, the final goal caused some confusion with Harrington smashing it in at the end. Davis had gone round. Alex Harris, the substitute goalkeeper. Angle was tight, but it looked to be going in. I'm sure Harrington just... 
wasn't quite aware of his surroundings and giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not sure Jordan Davis will be as happy with them. Connors Key again hitting four goals. 30 goals for the season now. Connors Key. Not for the first time this season. They've hit four. Owen. Four two. Connors Key hitting four again this season. Fifth time they've scored four goals this season. Connors Key. It's quite a run. A team were known really for their solid defence, give nothing away, grab a couple of goals, take it from there. And they've been transformed. So only the new Saints have scored more. They've hit 33 this season. Connors Key have hit 30 goals already this season. Conceding a few. Not that many, but still. Really double what the new Saints have conceded. When you're winning games and scoring four, no one's complaining. Sean Neil Gibson will have something to say about the way. They let Pennebont back into this game. It's going to be another three points for Connors Key. And you know what? On top of that, it's going to be seven wins in a row for Connors Key. Remarkable run of results. New Saints have won five in a row. Newtown have won six in a row. And now we've got Connors Key on seven in a row. Amazing run for the Reds. Now they've totally deserved it, but you just thought they did let Pennebont back into the game. Got a bit twitchy for them. They've done enough now. They tackle. There'll be a free kick there. Our colleagues will be deciding man of the match. I'm just about to get some confirmation of the start of the show tonight. You'll see him on your camera now. Yeah, there he is, Jordan Davis. Two goals tonight. Nine for the season. Top scorer in the Camry Prem. Nearly made it a hat trick, really. It was properly going in, but Ryan Harrington didn't fancy taking the chances. Smashed it in. Well, John Disney's had a yellow card. He's still having a discussion, shall we say, with the referee. Seconds remaining, minute, well. Just over 60 seconds <laughs> remaining, I should say. And Pennebont is still going. Venables is still going. And he's caused chaos there. He's going to be penalised. There was a foul. But you have to compliment him, to be fair. Still going there. More football to come, more live football to come. The Gennaro League tomorrow. Cardiff Met against Swansea. Cardiff Mets struggling this season. Highlights Monday night. It's the Adron Premier tomorrow. All the games on the Sunday, but the final game of the afternoon. Cardiff Met at home to Swansea. There's Pontypridd, Haverford West, Cymru Prem. On the Saturday when they were back in the Adron Premier, Janeiro Adron Premier, on Sunday. And then it's an international week. Venables again for Rushton. Claims the ball. And now the seconds remaining. Now Connors Key. And within sight to the finish line. Entertaining game. 
top performance from the Nomads for the first hour. And they let Pennapont back into it. They've clinched the win. Seven in a row for Connors Key now. Two more for Jordan Davis, nine for the season. He's the league's top scorer. He thinks he should have had a hat trick. He's still having a word with Ryan Harrington. And here are the goals. Davis with the first. He then won this allowed for offsides before this happens. And then Little with a little mistake. And Jack Kenny strolls through. Lovely finish from Kenny to make it 2-0. That's how it was at half-time. Huge incident here. Pennock clearing, injured himself. Davis just carried on, to be fair. He probably didn't even realise Pennock was injured. Tucked away his second of the night. So it's 3-0 with half an hour to go. I think it's going to be a long half hour for Pennabont, but, but, suddenly... 20 minutes to go. A foul on Rafael. Venable steps up. Scores. Of course he scores. 3-1. 10 minutes to go. Owen cross. Jeffrey's header. 3-2. You're thinking, surely not. Surely not. But they couldn't find the equaliser as Davis burst through again. It was going in, but Harrington made sure. Ashley Evans was behind him, to be fair. I'm not sure Jordan Davis agrees with that. But 4 2 for Connors Key. Three points, seven wins in a row. They go second. They stay second, I should say. Final score. Thanks for your company. Top right for Connors Key. Connors Key four. Better one, two.